Hey guys, welcome to Veganuary Day 22. And my tip today is all about shopping in season, buying produce that's in season. So this also ties a little bit into shopping locally. So I'm going to talk about both, but why are they important? So I was at a farmer's market, a new farmer's market that I was checking out in my area in West Reading, and I found myself there just scouting out what the produce selection would be like. I'm trying to shop more locally. And this beautiful CSA farm was there selling an amazing selection of winter produce. So let me plug them really quickly. So it's um, Organic B&H Produce. That's their name. And they're awesome. So I found myself talking to the farmer, which how cool is that? A lot of times when you're buying produce, you're, you never get to meet the farmer or actually have FaceTime with them and have conversations with them. So I was chatting with the farmer about some of his produce, and he had an amazing selection of some things that I recognized and some things that I did not recognize. So one of the things that I picked up today was heirloom carrots, and I have them here to show you because they're beautiful. Look at these beauties. Look at all those colors. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. So I picked up some heirloom carrots, and I also picked up, and there's a funny story that goes into this, these really nice white turnips. So as I was standing there kind of checking out the selection and chatting with the farmer a little bit, I watched so many people come up and they're buying all these turnips, right? And I'm standing there like, mm, I don't really know if I like turnips. So in chatting with the farmer, I said to him, okay, white turnips. I'm not exactly sure what turnips taste like or what, how can I, or how should I prepare them. So instead of explaining to me what a turnip tastes like, he just grabbed one, cut it in half, and handed me a piece and said, here you go, try it. It's the best way to really tell, really, to see if you like it. And I'm crunching on this raw white turnip, which I never would have thought I would have done. And it has a really nice, mild, very refreshing taste. There's not really anything strong or pungent. And all this time I thought, I don't like turnips because I wasn't raised on turnips. Here, I left like a little kid in a candy store. Oh my gosh, I love turnips and I know that I like them now. So I bought a bunch of white turnips to take home and I'm going to roast them with some parsnips and carrots, probably these heirloom carrots because they're gorgeous. I'm going to roast those up tomorrow. But I also bought some beautiful maitake mushrooms from another vendor who was selling um, these most exotic mushrooms I've ever seen. And from the um, CSA guy, the local farmer, I also bought some baby red Russian kale. What? It is so beautiful. So beautiful. So let me show you really quick this meal that I cooked up tonight. So here we go. I made, this is the red Russian baby kale. I sauteed it up with just a little bit of garlic powder and veggie broth. I made a little cheesy rice here with lentils and brown rice with some nutritional yeast and some yellow miso, so it's like yummy, creamy, cheesy rice and beans. And these are the maitake mushrooms. So I basically just sauteed these in the skillet in the pan with a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder and vegetable broth, so no oil needed. And this is a delicious, nutritious, plant-strong dinner that I'm about to enjoy. So my tip about shopping locally and shopping seasonally is when I was, I want to go into this a little more detail before I finish with you guys. So in looking at the farmer's selection, okay, when I was at this farmer's market, this local farmer, he's not going to have every single fruit and vegetable under the sun, right? He had winter vegetables, he had celeriac root, he had turnips, he had heirloom carrots, he had um, really beautiful daikons, um, two different types of cabbage, your traditional green cabbage and also Napa cabbage. He had some really beautiful microgreens that were made with arugula and um, beet, I think beet, some different types of microgreens that are really beautiful and, and tiny and delicious, great on salads. He also had these beautiful um, bags of the baby red Russian kale and a couple other Asian winter greens that were baby um, leaves that you could use in a salad or sauteing. So he didn't have every single selection of fruit and vegetables under the sun, and that's the point, is when you start buying locally, you're going to be also buying seasonally. So you're going to be eating um, vegetables and fruits that are in season. And in the wintertime, your root vegetables are really what is in season. 
So I try to eat seasonally when I can, and this is a great reminder being at this local farmer's market that I can't just buy tomatoes if I want to, or I can't buy cucumbers because those are summer vegetables and they're not in season. So I was so proud of myself for buying some really beautiful heirloom carrots and also for trying a brand new vegetable that I never even knew that I liked until today, which is white turnips. And I'm super excited to use them because not only can you eat the, the bulb, I'm going to saute these up in a pan and eat them just like I would.